Hello everyone, my name is Joe, and welcome to my channel. Come join me as I work clearing land, cutting down trees, splitting wood, and learning how to operate equipment on my parents' six acre property here in North Carolina. Welcome back everyone, Joe here, Joe's Outdoor Experience. Today I would like to attach the three point quick hitch to the back of my tractor. Go ahead and move the brush cutter out of the way. Get the rake out of here and the other loader bucket I have for my Mahindra 1626. I'm gonna take the grapple, gonna grab onto some of these branches over here, cut them on each side so that they're not hanging off the side of the grapple about five, six feet off each side. I'm gonna cut them so that they're 48, 49 inches long so that I can go through the path perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and use my steel MS-291 to do that. All this stuff is then gonna to go towards the back and continue building that hulu culture back there. But in the interim, I'm gonna take this, these implements and put them along this side here, just so they're out of the way, so I can really start making some progress along this creek line. So if you guys don't mind, hang out, watch what we got going on today. All right, so right around here is where I'm going to connect this Rural King three-point quick attach to the th three-point implement on the back of this Mahindra 1620. It's fairly easy. It's my third time ever doing it, so I'm going to go a little bit slower. Just pull these pins off the side, pull these clips out. So this is just now going to line these perfect. Just going to go ahead and slip this on here. Sorry, I'm trying to get my head out of the way so you guys can see. There's that one. Slide this pin in. Come to the other side. Not sure. That was all me. I mean, I couldn't line it up for some reason. It's, it's so simple. This just goes in. just like that. Take this, pull the pin out of here. Take this pin. And just like that, I mean, it is so easy, so simple. Like I said, it's like my third time ever installing it and it's just so quick and easy, I love it. All right, now I'm just gonna back up and try to hook it up. Just like that guys, it doesn't get any easier. Now I'm just gonna unload it on the other side here and show you how quick it comes off.
you know, it will drop down far enough for those hooks to actually come off and, and make it a quick and easy detach. But uh, I mean, I'm looking at possibly 55 seconds of doing this where sometimes when I was first learning how to do all this, it was taking me anywhere between an hour to just trying to hook up and set up all those links. This has made a world of a difference. If you guys are new to tractors or new to any of this stuff, this makes your life a lot, a lot more easier uh, going ahead and putting one of these three points on. Putting on one of these three point quick attach onto the back of your tractor, not just the three point, the quick attach is what I was talking about. Right now I have a load inside the grapple bucket. What I'm gonna do is start up this steel MS-291 with a 20 inch bar. I'm gonna cut the sides off each side of that load so that it's easier to drive down this path. So I'm just gonna get this one on for the first start of today. I love steel's operating. How to start it up. What you do is on the back here, you're gonna pull this trigger and I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Push down all the way for the choke. You go ahead, you step on here, you pull up until you hear fire. Then you're gonna lift this one more time and then it should fire right up. Let's see how we do. Lift up one time. gonna go ahead and let that warm up for a minute and then start cutting.
that's really about it for today guys there's really not much else going on as you can see some of this hulu culture that we got going on here uh, along the whole outside edge let me fix my glasses no wonder why you guys seem a little different along this whole outside edge here is all of everything and i'm not really sure if i showed you guys here is the spring green up that we have down here about 300 pounds of just down in this area of cereal grain rye and some onless oats this is everything i just cleared out i don't want to drive too much as you guys can see down here i'm starting to put some ruts we're still a little soft down here but um yeah we dropped dropped quite a bit of trees to really let the sun in we're going to mark the rest of the trees that the canopies are going to be too thick for the rest of the sun to let in the apple trees and chestnut trees are looking really good they're starting to really bloom out um, I'm really happy with what's going on down here and how much work we've completed. If you guys don't mind, if you made it this far into the video, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, that like button, uh, if you have anything you could add that you think I could do differently, please let me know. As you guys saw in the beginning, we went ahead, moved all the implements out and over to this area here, just so I can come back in and get all this stuff out of here. I'm gonna take the blowers, get all this little nonsense pulled up, brought to the side, and keep going with all this down here. I'm, I know I want to move this wood pile along to another area. I'll show you guys in a future video, but I want to get all this line, I'd like to get this whole creek line all taken care of on both sides. I hope it comes up on camera, how all this mess and junk, it's really, it's just woods and overgrown everything that we want to get out of here all all this nonsense here get this out everything along this edge here in here all that out of there get it all picked up and really start making it look how it looks like in the back that's the question before it arises as to why i wasn't using the grapple to pick up as many piles i really trying to lose some more weight um really trying to lose weight since we moved down here again about 25 pounds uh, I don't understand why we don't really go out to eat. Um, the food's terrible in North Carolina, so it's not like we actively go out to many restaurants. Um, so I, I'm trying to be more active, start working out, trying to really pay attention to what I eat and consume. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink soda. I drink seltzer water and water, and once in a while, a Gatorade Zero here and there. So, um, you know, got back from the doctor. Everything looks great. It's just I got to up my activity and stop being so lazy. So... If you guys see me doing that a lot more moving around that's really why so other than that if you guys don't mind uh, if you can hit that like button subscribe i am joe i hope you enjoy this video it's just me today uh some easy work by myself everyone's kind of got some stuff going on and i uh, hope everyone enjoys your weekend thank you again bye